2 liter turbo fours are quite possibly one of the widest used engines in today's day and time. You get this engine from little eco box SUVs to entry level luxury sedans to even gargantuan like the Land Rover Defender. It is quite possibly one of the most balanced engine layouts in today's day and time. But that's not the reason why I like that layout. I like it because it is the piece de resistance of pocket rockets. There are more than 10 performance cars that I can name off the top of my head that have that engine set up. But I think so, this is the one that you guys have been waiting for. The Mercedes AMG A35. What you need to understand is that this isn't the full fat A45 AMG. This is the A45's little brother, the A35. And there's one thing in common between both of the brothers and it's this. This is Mercedes AMG's 2 litre turbocharged 4 pot. And when it comes to power, this thing makes 306 horsepower and 400 newton meters of torque. But in the A45, this is the most powerful 4 cylinder engine in the world from factory. And it's mated to a 7 speed dual clutch transmission. Mercedes AMG nomenclature can sometimes be confusing. So let me try and clear it out for you. The real AMGs in Mercedes are with the badges of 63 and 45. They have the proper hand-built engines from Afalto back, whereas the 43s, 53s and 35s are mass-produced cars which have been worked on by AMG. So the A35 in an AMG purist book isn't a real AMG. But it still shares the same engine as the 45, which is quite a big talking point. To simplify it even more, the 35 and 43 line of AMGs can be compared with Audi's S division of cars like the S3, S5, S6, etc. Still confused? I wouldn't blame you. Now being an AMG, Mercedes can't keep the regular A-Class just looking like an A-Class in AMG trim. So of course there are some differences when it comes to the design. First of all, the bumpers. You have more aggressive bumpers up front and at the rear. And in fact at the rear, you get two real exhaust tips and like a fakeish kind of diffuser. Along with that, you have some vents here and there but they're not really that real. And you get some side skirts and some new AMG 5-spoke wheels which look absolutely amazing. And overall the car sits a little bit lower than the A-Class and it looks absolutely stunning. Just look at that stunning. Personally, I am a big fan of the way this new A-Class sedan looks, especially in AMG form. And my favourite angle has to be this one, where all of the lines and curves are in sweet harmony. The proportions of this car also look spot on, and overall, I think this is a very attractive design. But the real talking point of the A35 over most pocket rockets in its class is not the looks, or the other gizmos it has. It is that it comes with a 4MATIC all-wheel drive system from the factory. Going on now? Now the biggest difference that the A35 has over its competitors like the 2 Series or the Mini Cooper JCW is that this is a 4 wheel drive car. That means off the line this thing has amazing grip and in the bends you have the confidence to push it forward. Although I have a few problems with this setup, first of all the four-wheel drive system is there, but it's primarily front-wheel drive bias. That means the diff is not going to put the power to the rear wheels unless and until it's needed. So, most of the times, this thing feels quite front-wheel drive. And more importantly, the biggest problem I have with this car is in the bends, to be honest. This isn't the full-fat A45, so I'm not expecting it to be like a proper AMG with its sharp handling and amazing, amazing dynamics in the corners. What I expect is at least a decent amount of grip in the corners, whereas this thing I feel just understeers a little bit too much. 
and if you're going to blame it on the tires well don't because mercedes amg have fitted brand new michelin ps4s to this car so that is not a problem at all where the tires are falling short for the car's dynamics but overall this car just isn't as dynamic as i expected it to be and well that's because it's a 35 amg that is something that you will have to accept it is not the proper full fat a45 so the handling and dynamics are just a little bit short what i think mercedes amg have done is that they've taken the normal a class and just shoved the a45's engine in it in a detuned state and well the the whole car just feels a little bit dynamically short in terms of that but there are a few great points about this driving experience well first of all are the brakes these are the amg brakes that you get on the a35 and they stop on a dime and the other thing is that the steering wheel is amazing and it's very very responsive first of all the design of the steering wheel is absolutely amazing if you get the proper amg the design is a little bit different but i love this design it's a flat bottom you have this perforated leather and it's just a very nice thing to hold and the feedback and the feel is pretty decent i mean you can point the car wherever you want to go and it just darts into that corner some other problems that i have with the a35 is mainly with the gearbox when you're actually hooning the car you're going in a straight line you know you're revving it at that time the gearbox is absolutely amazing it's a seven speed dual clutch transmission and at that point you don't have any sort of problems although it is still quite jerky when you're shifting at complete throttle uh, you get some jerks and it's kind of violent for that but the main problem is in city situations urban situations well the gearbox is just not as smooth as something that you'll get from their competitors from bmw or audi it's just a little bit too jerky in my opinion that's the other problem that i have but overall as a driving experience for india especially the a35 is really well rounded and i have to say i really enjoy driving this car the 2 liter turbocharged four cylinder if you just hammer it down it just shoots you off into the distance and unlike the cooper jcw which has so many traction issues this thing just squats and just goes into the distance that's how amazing the traction is in this car The suspension setup in this car is also something that's fairly impressive. In performance car standards, the suspension is quite compliant and doesn't bruise your back on long journeys. The seats also are in the full AMG bucket seats, so the comfort is maintained and in our adventure to Alibag, this car was a great companion. The interior has to be one of the most stylish and interesting interiors in its class. From the beautiful air vents to the lovely steering, everything just feels a notch above its competition in terms of design. Although the fit and finish is a little iffy in some places. And as most of us know, Mercedes cars succumb to rattling and creaking. And through some of the rougher patches of road, the A35 was rattling away through the dashboard. The infotainment system and instrument cluster are very intuitive. At first, it took some time getting used to it. But once you get the hang of it, this MBUX system is quite the joy to operate. Everything can be accessed from the steering wheel and the amount of customizations available is just insane. But they really should delete this trackpad in the middle as it is quite useless come to think of it. The passenger can use the touch screen and the driver can use the steering controls and the area where the trackpad is can be used for a proper gear selector. I think I have said too many negatives about the A35 but that's because my expectations were quite high. The A35 if you come to think of it is a great car with the best of both performance and comfort. As a package it is quite impressive and let's be real who is going to push their A35 AMG to the absolute limit every time. If you really want to get a track car for around 60 lakh rupees, why get a four-port all-wheel drive car? Use W204 C63s are for around the same money and make for one of the best track experiences. A tough pill to swallow though is the price of the A35. It's 57.49 lakhs ex showroom. And if you think about it, that's knocking on the door of the M340i. And as we all know, the M340i is a proper piece of kit. But still, the A35 has its own charm and it's an AMG. And if you love AMGs, this is the cheapest way to get into one. And overall, I think so the A35 works as a package.